got my passport, just an empty suitcase, uh, just packing everything up. I mean, I haven't been out of the country for three years and one thing led to another and Piero and I are off to Tulum. So we're going to be having like a part holiday, part work, because I think as a creative you can't really go abroad to a tropical destination and not take your cameras really with you, can you? So, I'm going to start packing. The camera that I'm shooting on is the S5, I'm going to be taking this with me as our little vlogging camera so we can record our travels as we go. Just going to be using the kit lens, the 20 to 60, just going to whack an ND filter on it. Um, Got it in this small rib cage with a little handle on the side there um, and a hand strap. The thing with the S5 as well is that it's small and light enough that it's gonna, I can just hold it in one hand, you know? So I can literally just take this with us and uh, yeah, film as we go. So we headed off to Manchester Airport as we were flying with TUI and it was the quickest and cheapest direct flight, obviously stopping for a KFC and a Burger King on the way. We plugged in the car, to charge overnight uh, which we had sorted with the Clayton Hotel for parking as well for the duration of our trip and then the next morning we got an early transfer to Manchester Airport. It was so weird being back in an airport full of people and busy again but it was great and the flight took off smoothly, entertainment was great, food was good and then we landed in Mexico in at Cancun Airport about four or five o'clock in the afternoon and went straight to bed. The next morning we got up in our amazing hotel which is at the Cacao Hotel which is kind of like an apartment stroke hotel, best of both worlds, really recommend it. And then we set off on a bit of a, a bit of a journey just to gather our bearings and just yeah have a walk around and see what was about. Hola, that's Spanish for how do. Okay, so we're meant to be having a shoot today, but uh, plans have changed, so we're going to be doing that tomorrow instead. We decided that we would like to get a taxi to the main ruins. Um, we've somehow been accosted by some guy that's selling us some tickets for a tour. And so we're going on a massive tour of like an island. We're going on a boat, snorkeling, uh, and seeing the ruins as well. So we're going to see how that goes down. We have no idea. I feel like we've, we've kind of been easily persuaded into this tour but we'll see how it goes so we never did make it on to the luxurious boat tour that we were promised but it did give me some chance to shoot some b-roll of the main ruins and just very mexican looking things um, took the s5 with me shooting handheld with a 35 millimeter samyang vdslr cine lens which is just beautiful great walk around lens as well really grateful again for the dynamic range available in vlog especially because pretty much everything is in full sun so being able to capture all of the detail in the highlights and shadows as well using the vlog profile was working out really really well we spent the day chilling at this beautiful beach club resort called diamante k which had just the best beach and we just had a couple of pizzas and drinks there as well and i just got some more b-roll and we were just getting ready for our first shoot day, which was at a villa called 16 Tulum. We reached out to some models on Instagram beforehand and then packed our cameras and away we went. The next morning we headed to the location for our shoot in the blazing hot. And you know, not all of Tulum is as picture perfect as it makes out, but we made it there absolutely fine. We're at this amazing luxury villa called 16 Tulum. They do parties here, they do weddings. It's a really popular place uh, and it is just beautiful. There is so many like pockets of light coming in through the, the trees. There's like jungle areas, there's a pool. Really nice like stone bedrooms that we're gonna be shooting in as well. Um, because obviously traveling abroad with all my kit, normally I shoot on a gimbal, but I'm gonna be shooting just handheld on my S1 with uh, the Samyang VDSLR lenses and I'm vlogging this right now on the S5 with the kit lens. We've got a really cute couple, they're gonna be here in about 45 minutes. So we're just kind of getting our bearings around the venue and um, yeah, we're gonna be shooting in the bedrooms, making a bit of like lifestyle -y content. 
I think that, that kind of vibe works really well in Tulum. Everyone's like really carefree. There's beautiful stone colours, lots of tropical foliage and that kind of thing. So we're just making a bit of like a travel experience content uh, while we're out of wedding season in the UK. So we started shooting pretty much in chronological order for how I wanted the video to go because I wanted to tell a bit of a story using all of the different areas of the villa. Didn't really have like a shot list or a plan in mind, kind of just improvised it there and then on location, which I think is probably, unless you've got specific shots that you want to get, improvisation is the best way to go. I also wanted to do this scene where they were under the duvet, which was quite funny trying to explain it in English to uh, native Spanish speakers um, using a 24mm lens getting like a perspective shot underneath the sheets. Candela and Max are a real couple and they live really close to the venue so I just got them to do some kind of natural couple poses, lots of movement for video, lots of like hand feeling, lots of kissing, eye looking, those kind of prompts and just let them be themselves really and I think that's really key to getting the best for your video from couple shoots. Obviously I had to get in the water uh, and I nearly dropped my camera in the water at this point but working with the light making sure they were backlit, putting my camera into slow motion mode for this one so with the S1 if you're shooting at 60 frames a second or 50 frames a second there is a crop on the sensor but that actually allowed me to punch in and turn what was a 50 mil into something more like a, a 75 so it gave me a little bit of extra reach with the crop sensor mode. My advice really when you're shooting videos to get as much variation, different angles, different locations as you can and that way you can kind of put a story together in post. So it's really important for us to make our way pretty much around all of the venue, working with the light position and just yeah making sure I had as much variety of scenes as possible for when I put it together in post. When it came to picking a song from Musicbed afterwards, I came across an artist called Sam Rivera, whose kind of Spanish Latin vibe just fit the video perfectly. So it's day two, we're gonna be shooting the same couple that we shot yesterday uh, in a different location, aiming for a beach because we wanna get some of that Tulum vibe and most people tend to come here for that kind of beach life. So I've been shooting on the S5 um, and also the S1. I've been using a mixture of the kit lens, the 20 to 60 that comes with the S5 if you choose that option and also the Samyang VDSLRs as well. Feeling a little bit tired, not gonna lie. My favorite lens is 50 so nice to get up close and personal. I think I've already touched on this the other day, so I'm not gonna go over it again, but value for money, this Samyang VDSLR, my number one. So we're waiting for our couple to arrive to see if they can negotiate some sort of uh, entry to let us shoot. Because as much as this place looks amazing, I think a thousand dollars might be a little bit out of budget. So we'll see. We made it in. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> We're so grateful that we managed to make it in a shoot on the beach. Uh, we bumped into uh, somebody that I speak to on Instagram called Sea Love Wedding Film, which is great seeing their shooting a wedding next door. So we did it. We did it. Thank you. <laughs> so it turns out that Candela and Max used to work at this beach resort, and also I think they met here as well and they managed to get us in, providing that we spent a bit of money on drinks. So we headed off to the beach. It's really important to remember as well, if you are shooting in Tulum, that the sun doesn't set on the beach. So you kind of have to work around the light and just be prepared that the beaches can get quite busy, especially on a Saturday night. So we tried to find some quieter spots, including the beach and using this handheld Lumix S1, I was trying to create a kind of romantic escape, kind of lifestyle-y couple shoot. And I think it works really, really well, even though I do run like I've got flippers on. If you are thinking of coming to Tulum, you absolutely have to have some sort of transport. We didn't get anywhere, we didn't hire anything. Um, so we've just been kind of relying on taxis and that sort of stuff, but they, it all does add up, especially if you need to 
go out and come back and our hotel is, is, is a little bit out of the way from most of the tourist spots um, and then also the areas that we're shooting as well so yeah definitely hire yourself a quad bike or a motorbike or something like that just to get about um, also another thing if you are traveling on a tourist visa make sure you don't take any more than two cameras because that might crop up at customs um, just yeah keep just bring maximum of two cameras with you per person uh, another thing as well I had a few message requests on my Instagram and I was thinking oh my god people are inviting me to these like restaurants and all of this and I thought I don't know what this is but I'm excited about it turns out it's just people trying to actually get you to book at their restaurants they're not giving you anything for free I kind of misunderstood and I was thinking oh great so maybe they want me to shoot some content in in exchange for a meal no they just want you to be their customer and that's I guess um, how they do things over here. I guess they'd seen from where my tag location was on Instagram and that kind of stuff and then were reaching out to me hope, hoping that I was gonna book a table. Another tip as well is if you're getting currency, don't get US dollars. We made that mistake basically. Whilst US dollars are their second currency here, Mexican pesos are how they prefer everybody to pay locally because what happens is you get your bill, they round it up to the nearest dollar, and then you have only $10 notes, $20 notes, $5 notes, and when you pay, you don't get any change. So everything costs you, everything costs you twice as much, and then you get the awkward situation of not speaking Spanish and not knowing how to ask for change or anything, so you end up just leave, you end up you end up just handing over. <laughs> you basically end up handing over fifty dollars <laughs> for four lemonades, <laughs> and then just getting the hell out of there because you don't know how to resolve the situation. <laughs> Good morning. So we're on our third shoot day today. We've run out of clothes. We've run out of money. Pretty much run out of everything. Patience. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just walking the two mile route to the main part of Tulum, just because like I said, we haven't got any quad bikes or bikes or anything like that. We're gonna be going home in a couple of days anyway, so it's a bit, we don't really need to get anything. We're just kind of walking everywhere and getting taxis. But later on, we're gonna be shooting with our second couple on our third shoot day. And we're gonna be heading off to a different area of Tulum, which is gonna be a bit more, urban kind of rooftop vibes um, so it's going to make a change from the beach and the um, villa kind of locations that we shot before so yeah we're just going to see how it goes it's 10 o'clock in the morning and we're going to be heading off to shoot at about oh very very dusty got a bag on my leg <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to be shooting at about five o'clock so we're heading into town Go get some money out from the ATM, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, just doing a bit more sightseeing. So we'll catch up with you later. So we left Starbucks and got a taxi to as close as we can get to, to our residential uh, area where we're gonna be shooting in. I think it's like a gated community, but we're a few hours early. We're like two and a half hours early. So I decided to come to the nearest beach, which is pretty nice. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully it's not going to get too cloudy and then we can get a bit of a tan and carry on shooting from about five. So yet again, we're doing another five mile walk to somewhere we don't know. Uh, but it looks pretty nice, like, very modern. Would live here, wouldn't you? <laughs> Very nice. Thankfully, Mia and Cody spotted us walking and picked us up in their car. Just a, a word of caution, really. Obviously, if you're meeting people online, make sure you do your research on them first. They showed us round and then we started shooting. And we are by the pool. We have Mia and Cody over there that are, there they are. Uh, we're just shooting some stuff here. The colors are amazing with like the greens and the blues. So we've not got much time left because of the sunset. So let's get cracking. And finally, we were blessed with what we came for, which was glorious golden light. And now we know that the sun doesn't set on the beach, we are faced the other way, and we are presented with this beautiful golden sunset.
I shot all the poolside stuff on a 35mm and then all of the rooftop sunset stuff on a 50 Knowing that we were going home tomorrow, I was just really, really pleased that we managed to get such amazing, career-changing shots, which are just going to look beautiful in my 2022 showreel. That's pretty much where our vlog ends. I hope you've enjoyed watching our little trip to Tulum. We had the most amazing time. Definitely was an experience working in different conditions with different kits of what I'm used to working with. But yeah, we had an amazing time and I'm really, really happy with the results. It was definitely worth the trip. If you're thinking of getting some destination content for your wedding portfolio or lifestyle content, then it's really, really important to invest in yourself. That means booking a flight, taking the risk and just traveling to those destinations where you want to book clients in future. Creating the content that you want to book is key as a creative. So hopefully you found this useful. Really looking forward to sharing my other journeys this year with you. So keep an eye on this channel for more travel vlogs and wedding videography tips and camera stuff and all that jazz. So thanks again and I'll catch you in the next one.